Today, we are going to learn how to create and modify a flight plan using the Challenger 650's FMS and X-Plane. This video will not cover downloading a flight plan via data link from SimBrief. That will be covered in a later video. These procedures can be applied to other Collins ProLine equipped aircraft that have the FMS 3000, 5000, and 6000. Let's get started. Start by pressing the FPLN flight plan key, which will take you to the flight plan page. A handy feature is the ability to use your keyboard to type into the scratch pad. To do so, verify the keyboard icon is flashing on the FMS in the upper left hand corner. If it is not flashing, simply left click on the gray colored area of the FMS. The keyboard function will go away when you click outside of the FMS or no entry is made for 30 seconds. Two flight plans can be in the FMS. An active flight plan, ACT, and a secondary flight plan, SEC. Use the active for current course guidance and the secondary for a future flight plan. For the purposes of this video, we will focus on the active flight plan. Let's start by typing and pasting your departure airport into the origin field. It must be the four letter ICAO ID. Next, Type and paste your destination airport into the destination field. The route field is not implemented yet. This field would allow you to recall a stored flight plan from the FMS database. But there is an alternative method to do so which is mentioned in my FMS basics and advanced procedures video. Next, fill the alternate airport field. However, be aware that it is not required. This is simply for planning purposes. Now we can begin building our flight plan. To keep things simple at first, we will not use a SID or STAR. We will use this route from Memphis to Oklahoma City as an example. In this particular FMS, all waypoints go in the TO field, right side, and all airways go in the VIA field, left side. Our first waypoint is the Memphis VOR, Mike Echo Mike. Place that in the TO field. Next, we will be flying on Airway J66. Place that in the VIA field. For our flight, we will transition to another airway upon reaching the Little Rock VOR. So we will place LIT Lima India Tango in the adjacent 2 field. The next airway we will be flying on is J14, so place that in the VIA field. Our flight plan will end at the Will Rogers VOR, India Romeo Whiskey, and then we will fly directly to the Oklahoma City Airport. So enter India Romeo Whiskey in the To field. Last, press Execute to finalize the flight plan. We have just built a basic flight plan from Memphis to Oklahoma City. However, in the real world, in the online sim world of VATSIM or Pilot Edge, the routing will not be this simplistic. You can certainly file this flight plan, but when you go to pick up your clearance, you will likely get something like this. Now let's modify our flight plan, adding a departure and arrival and any en route changes. Before we do that, to make things easier because the entire route is different, I highly recommend deleting the entire flight plan and starting from scratch. This will save you from the headaches of cleaning up discontinuities and possibly retaining old flight plan data, which could lead you in the wrong direction. To delete an entire flight plan, press the clear delete key, then press the line select key next to origin. Verify you want to delete the entire flight plan and press execute. When airborne, you will not be able to delete an entire flight plan via the origin line select key for obvious reasons you will get a not on ground message. However, you can delete slash change the destination while airborne. After entering your departure and arrival airports, press the departure arrival key. If the desired departure page does not appear, press the key again to display the departure arrival index. Choose a SID and the desired transition. In this case, it is the Dux 5 departure via the Heller transition. Choose a runway 
In our case, we will use 1-8 center. We can then verify on the MFD map to ensure proper routing. Press execute after confirmation. After reaching Hellar, we are clear direct comma. So we'll enter that in the to field. Enter airway J6 in the via field. We have an arrival into Oklahoma City, so we will press the departure arrival key and a second time if needed to take us to the departure arrival index. Select the arrival line select key for Oklahoma City and choose the Riffle 3 arrival via Dwine under transition. Select an approach based on forecast winds, although not required but recommended. Press the flight plan key to go back to the main flight plan page for review. Everything looks good except we have two discontinuities. One between Airway J6 and the Riffle 3 arrival Dwine transition, and number two between the arrival and the ILS approach. A second discontinuity after the arrival is expected since we are expecting radar vectors after ACES, so we'll leave that as it is. As for the first discontinuity, we know that Airway J6 connects to Dwine, so we will need to enter Dwine at the 2 field, which will automatically connect J6 to Dwine, and ultimately the Riffle 3 arrival per our ATC clearance. Press Execute when done. And because we're all professionals, we will double check the routing again on the flight plan pages to make sure it matches exactly with our ATC clearance. Another pro tip, when you've made a change to the flight plan, but it is not executed and no other entries are made for more than 15 seconds, the FMS will display an amber execute mod flight plan message prompting you to press execute if you are satisfied with the changes or press cancel mod if you want to cancel your changes. All right, we've looked at how to build a basic flight plan without a departure and arrival, and we've looked at how to build a more realistic flight plan with a departure and arrival. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and fly safe. Cheers.